All right, so here's the actual SketchUp model. The plan is to create this plate here that allows you to go both X and Y with a C-beam actuator. You can see here that we have already worked up the cut files, and if we open up SketchUcam, you can see we have all the parameters loaded for uh, eighth inch aluminum, and it's basically ready to go. You can go in here, modify this file, um, learn from it, and create your own plates as well. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our first aluminum cut. There's several ways that we could mount. This is eighth inch thick aluminum. There's several ways we could mount this. I could use clamps. I was thinking some small clamps. Uh, you could drill holes in here and just screw it down. But one of the ways I've been wanting to try is to see if I could use this double-sided adhesive strip. It's basically carpet tape. And the idea is that we place this on the back of this aluminum like this and see if it can hold up to the uh, cutting. All right, so there's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and put it on here. Let's see how it does. All right, that looks sweet. And we'll go ahead and jog our table back and just get everything lined up to zero. So go ahead and connect. So Y negative. Let's get it somewhere close. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect. And then I'll just hand jog some of these. Just jog it down till it touches. And you have a little bit of room up here on the front, which I wanted to keep this way. So if we wanted to, we could actually screw these front uh, two sides down. But like I said, I want to test out this carpet tape and see how well this works. So I'm just going to leave it for now. All right, so that's our zero. That looks good. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of oil. This is canola oil. And I'm just going to take like a, like a half a capful or so. And I'm going to spread it around in the area where I know this cut is going to take place. And then I'll just take a paper towel and kind of get it everywhere. This will help to keep the bit cool. And you'll notice that I've, I now have an eighth inch bit in there. And I'm using my eighth inch collet. And this is an aluminum cutting to flute. And that looks good. The code has already been set. And like I said, we're zeroed out. Just make sure your cables are out of the way. And go ahead and connect. Wait for it to zero out. Okay, we're connected. I'm gonna go ahead and load the code. And the code that we're looking for will be under SketchyCam aluminum examples eighth inch aluminum examples and i'm looking for c-beam xy gantry test plate go ahead and open that all right everything looks good we'll go ahead and start the router and we'll hit our start button and we'll let it cut
completed our first aluminum cut and it looks fantastic. It came out really good. I'm really happy with the way the machine's working. And also the shields worked really nice and the carpet tape held very well. You can see here if I jog the Z down, we are right where we started. Right back to zero again. That's great. So let's go ahead and let's jog our Z up. I'm going to bring this out. So that looks awesome. Go ahead and clean this up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and vacuum everything, clean it up. And I could take some 220 grit sandpaper, shine that up a little bit, and I'll take and pop this out. But I'm going to leave the rest of this on here because I'd like to be able to cut more things out of this. And I can always start to cut here or here into this field. I just need to measure how much room I have here. But that is fantastic. Really great. Congratulations on your first aluminum cut. All right, so I'm super excited about the way this turned out. Came out really nice, and I just went through, I did sandpaper on it. I took a little bit of alcohol to get rid of the carpet tape on the back. I think if you use Goo Gone or Acetone, that would come right off really quick. And it just, it looks awesome. I took some Scotch-Brite and shined it up a little bit. And I figured I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a test. I have a couple C-beam 250 pieces here and I figure I'll just put some wheels on this thing and just see how it works out. So let's go ahead and build it and see how it works. All right, so that's the uh, plate assembled and it's complete. You can see we have standard spacers there, eccentrics here. And on this side, we have standard spacers and then a Centrix there. And it should give us the ability to create a X and Y table. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, slide these on and adjust my Centrix and just see how it works. All right, so there's the complete unit. It's exactly as we designed it in SketchUp. You could go ahead and build the C-beam actuators on here. And we have a setup on here with the hole pattern to put the uh, nut blocks, and this would give you a great XY table system. So I hope you found this helpful. Please share your creations on openbuilds.com so others can build along with you. And until next time, all the best with your builds.